I think it's safe to say this is probably the craziest, craziest f***ing Resident Evil game ever made. Yeah. It's got midgets, it's got castles, it's got, um, um, crazy, it's got president's daughters. It's got parasites and suits of armor that attack you. It's got giant, uh, giant crocodile fish. It's got jet skis, it's got attractive Asian women. It's got everything. This is the game that has it all. Hey guys, welcome back to Super Gay Bros. I'm Lenny. And I am Mike. And today we're playing a very special game today. Uh, very Resident special. Evil 4. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I just want to say, how how cool is this title screen? Oh, it's awesome. It's got a, a whole bunch of sweet colors and they all mm -hmm. blend in very well. But yeah, Resident Evil 4, probably one of the most... One of the best and maybe maybe one of the most controversial Resident Evil games out there is just because the the drastic change but yeah. yeah we're um with we wanted to play resident evil 7 but we couldn't afford it so we went for the cheaper option this game was like five bucks uh, online so we just scrounged up some pennies and nickels around the apartment on the and couch and couch we got like two dollars out of the couch alone yeah. and uh yeah we downloaded it and we figured yeah. why not we we haven't played this game in a while so it'll maybe it'll be a little fresh for us now that we're doing it again but um, how you guys doing? Hope you're doing well during all these uh, crazy, wacky times. Yes, we're okay, right? Uh, I don't know about that, we're but all right. yeah, we're yeah, we're okay. We're hanging in there. Yeah. All right, so let's uh, let's jump right in. Sure, let's do this. Resident sure, you don't want to do easy? I feel like oh, you might need no, that easy no. mode turned on. No, you ain't gonna go out easy. Judging how you played Resident Evil Two. 1998. I don't know what you're talking about, man. I yeah, was a pro at that uh, game. Uh, Pretty amateurish. I was conservative, conservative play mountains. you know. Save my ammo, yeah, save my health. You were You're very liberal with all the, the all the supplies. Viral experiment. Don't bring politics into this. It's too early. We just I'm not started. trying to bring we're politics. We're like two minutes in the video already talking about politics. That's the last the thing we want for our YouTube video. Mountain. That's the last thing I need. That's just asking for trouble. Yeah, that's peaceful little terrible. The devastating hey, remember that part from Resident Evil foundation. 3? Yeah, that part was cool. Yeah, that was cool. The zombie Not taking rush any chances. on the police. Yeah, and then the President zombies took the over, uh, what was that, Chicago? Plan to sterilize Raccoon City. What an idiot. How could you even say that after, after calling Republic. yourself a Resident Evil fan? The oh, States sorry, Raccoon City. I mean, it pretty much is just Chicago, but still. So there's, a, there's a very drastic difference between the two. It could either be Detroit or Baltimore or... Florida but yeah guys so we want to hear your opinions on the videos uh, tell us if you think that we are you know doing well if let us know what games you think you we should play what you think we might Six be uh, you know have some fun with that's that what we're doing it for for fun um, and yeah tell us uh, you know how you're doing down in the comments below we're more than happy to talk to you guys mm -hmm. I received special training via a secret organization yeah. working hey, under the direct a, control. There's the face we all know yeah, and love. Special agent Leon. Responsibility Survived Raccoon City and he spent family. the next like two years becoming a super yeah. secret yeah. operative. And his fingers are looking especially low res. Yeah, the little two. Especially that guy's hand. We're playing this in 4K, so it takes these textures from... When was it? When did this game come out? 2004? I, I think so, yeah. It was and it's like stretching them out to like the, the, the stretchiest that it could possibly be. It's really so it's, pushing it to its yeah. limit. We were thinking about doing like throwing a reshade on here to make it look a little bit better, but I feel like it's best if we just show the game as it should be, you know? Yeah. Speaking of uh, good looking games, did you check out the Microsoft uh, Xbox event? Did you check yeah. out Halo Infinite? What did you think of Halo Infinite? Oh, Halo Killing Infinite? Um, uh, I don't know. I mean, I know the Halo games have always had a lot of backtracking in the games. Like, you're going always going backwards in some spots. But I didn't think the games themselves would actually, like, backtrack. Like, this game looks... It looks just like Halo Combat Evolved, but with a grappling hook. Yeah, but I mean, it's built off a new engine. There's a lot of cool new guns. It's open world now. The president's daughter when she was um, abducted. well... I mean, that's the ultimate I guess. I mean, the game just seems like it's just turning into Destiny. Here, pretty soon, they're going to announce that it's going to have Ingrams, and they're going to give you guns that you don't, you never wanted. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll see how the game turns out. I, do, I am a big fan of Halo, but ever since 343 kind of took over, it's, uh, yeah. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt this time. We'll see how it the goes. The third time's a charm. We'll see how it goes. Mm -hmm. 
racing. So, cool so this man. game takes place in Spain. Quite a, a drastic difference from the last Resident Evil, the last three Resident Evil games. Ah, Do you know where in Spain though? I have no idea. Isn't Spain just Spain? Do they have? Like, Is it? I have no so idea. Long. Does it? I don't know. I. Uh, anyway, I should have paid attention during. Uh, if you guys, algebra uh, class. if our us talking about something completely unrelated to the game was um, getting in the way of what the game is about. So the president's daughter has been kidnapped by uh, terrorists, Spanish terrorists, something like that. Yeah. And uh, Leon is a U.S. operative, and he has to go in there and save the president's daughter. Like Sounds the like B-movie schlock. But it does. It's great. But it's great B-movie schlock. This game is awesome. It's really... Well, B-movie schlock makes great video no, games. It does. Like Resident Evil. Right. <laughs> the, all, all the Resident Evil games. Pretty much, Pretty yeah. schlocky. Pretty much. So, yeah. So, Leon has to go save the president's daughter. And, uh, how do you go from a, a novice police officer to... Like secret service status. Secret. I don't even know. Leon, Video game logic. That's how. Mm -hmm. I'm Just because he survived be a uh, a horrible pandemic, they're Somehow like, you need to be, you need to, so you need to save the president's Grant, daughter right? if she ever gets kidnapped. That's right. But She's the daughter. Yeah, I guess that's president. just how it works. So try to behave mm -hmm. yourself, okay? Hey, look who it is, uh, Hunnigan. Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I don't know why Hunnigan sounds like a butler's name. That's Good. A weird Talk observation. It is a weird observation. Though. It was so weird. Don't know why I said that. Like because in Resident Evil 2, I always saw Leon as this like you know. Oh man. He's just kind of like this guy, regular guy trying to survive, and then in in this game he like he's all like rugged and badass. He's like the Chuck Norris uh, of the Resident Evil franchise. Pretty much. He's almost up there with Chris. Almost. Chris. Chris is pretty up there in, in terms of he, uh, badassery. He yeah, he ain't punching any boulders, so that kind of no. brings him down. That's a notch. the next game. Next game, he's punching boulders yeah. and taking names. Look at this place. It looks good. It does for a it game that came out in 1998. Looks uh, like run down, creepy. Which reminds me, another game they uh, showcased during the event, uh, Stalker 2. I guess it kind of looks stalkerish. Yeah, yeah, I mean. Um, that game looked really awesome, Stalker 2. What, what do you think? Um, Stalker, yeah, the, I've always... I was um, surprised that they, they announced it. I mean, um, I don't think anyone knew really what what the game was. But, um, yeah, so I, I like the... Um, I've been playing the, the first one, um, the one where you're like... I don't know, the, the game was cool. You can pick and choose, like, the time of day you stalk... And like you can you can choose your victims, and then like the ending was crazy. Like if you don't do it the right way, it, there's a big old explosion, and then you end up uh, doing 35 years in prison. It's wild. What the hell are you talking about, man? Stalker. I'm talking about Stalker 2 on the next Xbox, a sequel to the Stalker, which came out on PC. What game are you talking about, man? Oh, the, the game um, that takes place in Ch Chernobyl and. Oh, that that Stalker game. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, what, um, what I was. What the hell are you talking about, man? I was referring to this game that I've been playing on the dark web. Never mind. Yeah, just disregard what I was talking about. Stalker Two. Um, didn't know they announced it, but that that's awesome. That's cool. Um, yeah. We have to talk uh, about that after this, Mike. So, like, is there like uh, um, radiation monsters and stuff? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. That sounds cool. I can get into that. Yeah. There's no like camcorders or uh, or any. Ropes. Only women or anything, okay. or any yeah, rope well, or anything like that. But yeah, they're video games, man. They're just video games. But yeah, the the intro to Resident Evil Four. <laughs> yeah. When uh, Leon tries to talk to the locals, even though he doesn't speak their language, I was wondering. It just has a picture of a girl. girl in this photograph. <laughs> Have you seen? <laughs> He's like, Mama Mia! Like, Get the f out of my house! <laughs> Sorry to have bothered you. He's like, damn, did I leave my front door open again? Right? He just walks into people's houses and he's like, stupid Americans walking in yeah, my house. Yeah, right? Showing freeze. the locals pictures of the missing woman. <laughs> I said freeze! Showing him pictures of the president's daughter. For real, This man. is how every... Oh, God. This is how every... Uh, oh, you gotta learn the controls, huh? Yeah. This is how every Resident Evil game starts. You, uh, you go head first into... Just... Just danger and you don't even know how to use your weapon. No, that's how you go into every Resident Evil game. I know exactly what I'm doing at all times whenever I start Resident Evil. I plan ahead. Before we did this, before we decided to play this, I looked over the controls, I looked over some of like the, 
the past like gameplays for, so I kind of have an idea. I like to go in prepared, Lenny. Unlike you, well, completely am. That's such amateur okay. work. Not even knowing how to fire your weapon no at the very start of the game. Most people don't even do that, man. Do what? Get out of there and Look at the control the before they Take start playing, unless it's like in a loading screen. Who does that? I do. I play a lot of strategy games, and those strategy games, they, they require you to kind of understand how... And, uh, I don't know how the, that helps you, because you don't even know how to read, man. I got a lot of questions. <laughs> I, but anyways, uh... Yeah, this is how every Resident Evil game starts. We're starting a new playthrough. Can we, like, not... Like, All right. start the brand new playthrough okay. with making fun of Mike. Alright, I'm Mike sorry. Mike, who's trying his hardest to kind of make up for years of failing in English class. All right. Please. Apologies this to is you how, and this is also how every viewers. video starts. And this is how every video ends. Let's make fun of Mike with his, um, his insecurities. Uh, it's kind of like the elephant in the room, turn. man. How do you f*** you? How do you quick turn? Oh, uh, down in A. Oh! <laughs> I, I feel the feeling I should just run. <laughs> uh, yeah, if we're playing for reals, just run. Hey, Pedro! You're running the wrong way! I gotta check on Pedro and... Pedro. Pedro and Pedro, they're gone. They're goners. They're dead. Look uh, they at might, them. They might still be alive. <laughs> Maybe they're survivors. No, there is no survivors. No. <laughs> that, that looked pretty no. bad. That was a pretty bad accident. That was like something you see in the dark web. Dark web's a pretty cool place. Don't like, don't talk down on the dark web. I know it's scary, and there are things on there that can possibly hurt you, but still. Like Stalker Simulator? That game doesn't hurt anybody. It's a simulator. Simulator, not real. Yeah, never well. Never took place, never takes place. Yeah, well, what if the world is a simulation? You're just playing a part, you're just playing God. Do you ever the f that? are you talking about? <laughs> Did you ever think of that? No, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Like Black Mirror type stuff. Just play the. All game right, all game. right, okay. I'm, I'm help the dog. Off. Help the dog oh, yeah, so he helps dog. you against the El Gigante. That's later. right. That's right. It's this way. What does it say? The guidepost reads, Pueblo. Hmm. 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 Interesting. Man, these villagers have some high tech. Uh, Military equipment. <laughs> Shut that off. Yeah, man, what's with all the notifications lately, man? You've been getting a lot of those. It's like blown up. Um. Yeah, they're um. My my phone's been going off with all these notifications I've been getting. Uh, ever since I posted the uh, the the Black Mario video on oh, our channel, yeah. like I've been getting yeah I've been getting death threats left and right from people. Leaving comments on Facebook telling me how they're... They want to do some terrible things to me, so... Yeah, I see a lot of people, like, in front of our apartment just, like... Yeah. Just hanging out. Did well, you... I did don't know if that's related to this, but still. I don't like those people hanging out in front. But still, I'm getting, like... <laughs> I'm not... They, they're telling me to take it down. I'm not going to take the video down. Like, it's, uh... It's there. It's, it's there to stay? Yeah. Well, it's did me you, voicing um, my opinion. That's the American way. Voicing your opinion. Well, did you learn your lesson on uh, putting your opinions on the internet about changing a beloved character's race? No. Well, that settles that. Oh! Spiders! Spiders! Is this like a glove or a spider? spider? It looks like a Halloween hand that it does look like some a kid hand. put on. What the hell? Was that intentional? I don't know. That's Capcom, like Capcom, you crazy. That's something that belongs in Resident Evil oh, 8. Did you see the... Oh my uh. god. Hey lady, you alright? Yeah. That's uh... That kind of sets up what women's rights is like in Spain throughout this entire game. That guess, do you know, do you know anything about Spain? Mm. Are you sure you're that should, they, are you sure you should be that saying they, that? They conquered Canada in like the 1800s? Only the, only the, the, you know, everything everyone else should know, Lenny. I'll take your word for it. Did you pay attention in history every now and again, huh? I also uh, know yeah. that they, um, uh, their capital is Mexico City, and uh, uh, I don't know. I, don't, I think that I sums think up my should, knowledge on Spain. You should probably just, yeah, probably just stop there. I'm just gonna stop you there, Mike. Dang, all these guys, these guys are 
They loaded. just carry money left and right. They just carry right? boxes of gold. Well, I mean, when the um, what's the name of the, the merchant? Is that his name? The merchant? I think so. Yeah. yeah. I mean, when he's what he, when buying? he's everywhere at the same time, like you always have to have money in your pocket yeah. in case you want to buy like an herb or uh, chicken eggs or something. It's in ten different places at one time. Yeah. Or you want to upgrade? Maybe it's your, like the prestige. And he just you want to up himself. Oh, upgrade dang. your broom handle. You never want to. You never know when you want to upgrade your broom handle. Yeah, you never know when that's gonna come in handy. Right. And that's gonna get you out of a sticky situation. Those sticky situations. Did you already pass the sticky situation? Through the dog? No, the boulder. No, not yet. That's uh. Way to spoil the game, Mike. I know. Sorry, guys. I gotta stop talking. It's just. I'm reminiscing. I haven't played this game in a while. He's talking about Raiders of the Lost Ark. Maybe I was thinking about. Him. I don't know. He is kind of like Harrison Fordish. I mean, he's just. I guess he's just not as old and, and crusty Sorry to hear that. <laughs> and angry and angry, and he doesn't hate every movie that he's ever been in. <laughs> Take a look at it. Thanks. I guess True. he's like Harrison Ford a little bit. In a way. Yeah, in a way. Here we go. Playing manual. Oh, this is for you. I don't need this. I told you. I already did my research. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so bright. It is bright. It's really bright. Jesus Christ. All right, where's that dog? Okay, so let's we're gonna the I'm last gonna him. our last Resident Evil video, we had agreed that whoever died first would have to eat dog crap. Lenny died, I died. No one had to eat dog crap, so that continues here. Whoever is the first one to die, hmm. we still got rules to figure out. I'm a little nervous now because this 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 part's pretty tough. So whoever died last and then we beat the game, that's who's gonna have to eat the crap. But if they get equaled out, then that's fair. They can make up for it. They can redeem themselves. But still, yeah. I want this to happen. I don't care if it's Lenny. I don't care if it's me. But someone needs to do it. So you're saying by the end of this game, whoever died more? I think yeah. Maybe we'll tally do. up. We'll tally up. Okay. But then again, you and I kind of know this game like like the back of our. We hands, should put so. like a whiteboard or like a a marker. We could. Like that's a, not a bad idea. You, and just have it there. You manage a couple good ideas every uh, couple months, Lenny. That's not mm -hmm. bad. Just write a, uh, just write doggy do, doggy do, uh, doggy do failure. Okay, yeah. Okay, that was it for your ideas, right? Yeah. You had the, you were going strong with the, uh, the whiteboard, and then <laughs> it kind of fell it. there. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> In fact, that was so bad, wow. I kind of don't want to do the whiteboard anymore. No. Okay. Do the, the roundhouse. I couldn't. Because oh, you suck, bro. That's because you didn't do your research before the game. You do your research, research while you're playing. In the middle of a firefight, you're trying to figure out how to reload your weapon. Oh man! And you're already like you're already at uh, oh. crap health. I'm fine. I'm doing okay. I can't believe this playthrough is already going to crap already. You already probably used up all it's, the health, huh? It's just fine, Mike. We're, we're doing okay. I'm doing okay. Now you're just gonna make it harder for me when I start. Why are these people? Yeah. It's called strategy. Yeah, the strategy is to use up all the resources so that when your brother has to play, he can get killed by Dr. Uh, what is it? Dr. Santana? Dr. Santana? Whatever his name is. Santiago? Oh, Dr. That guy? Salvador. There we go. That guy's your friend. Is oh, no, no. Dr. Salvador with the, yeah. the chainsaw. That's Dr. Salvador? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going to keep Dr. Salvador at bay. I think it's safe to say this is probably the craziest, craziest f***ing Resident Evil game ever made. Yeah. It's got midgets, it's got castles, it's got, um, um, crazy, it's got president's daughters. It's got parasites and suits of armor that attack you. It's got giant, uh, giant crocodile fish. It's got jet skis, it's got attractive Asian women. It's got everything. This is the game that has it all. It's, it's, it does. That's why it's got it a little so something for everyone. The charm in this game was just it was overwhelming. It's got hand grenades. Yeah. That's why we're excited for Resident Evil 8, because this, Resident Evil 8 looks like it's that kind of departure into madness, into craziness. Yeah. It, the, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh yeah, you get out of there. Remember one? Oh. That was close. Oh man, my butthole clenched after that. Oh. Yeah, don't need to hear about that. Come on. Sorry. Um, but... 
Seems exciting. Resident Evil 8, gonna be super awesome. Uh, what is it called? Like Resident Evil 8 Halloween Town? Something like that. Something like that, yeah. It's got the werewolves and the, the vampires and the, and the pumpkin heads. And, and the pumpkin heads, the, the creepy crawlies and the ghoulies. Anything you could think of that's spooky, scary during Halloween. Witches. Jack o' lanterns. Jack o' lanterns. Can't wait. Resident Evil, Resident Evil 8 Halloween Town coming out. Um, I don't f***ing know when, but it's coming out. It's coming soon. You just have to hold out until they go play bingo. That's right. I know, baby. What are you doing, man? You can't blame the, blame the game for uh, human error. Well, I'm playing. doing it here, man. Oh, nice. I got a Spinelli. <laughs> Spinelli. <laughs> nice. I wonder what I can use that for. Who knows? I feel like there's a death trap going in here. What you should do is try and find some health. That's probably a good idea. Am I really gonna... I really hope it wasn't a bad idea coming in here. I think you just made the worst decision of this I think playthrough I did. so far. Because uh, Dr. Salvador is gonna bust through that door with his chainsaw. You don't want to break those barrels? Is there a window in here? I hear him. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh. I couldn't, I couldn't, I kept pressing A to shoot. That's, That's what happens when reload. you don't go unprepared, Lenny. You get your head cut off. I kept pressing A to shoot, or X to shoot. It's an old game. <laughs> I think we should cut it. X to shoot. Should we stop it there? Yeah. Uh, we're well, off to uh, a great start. Uh, Lenny already died, that means he has to eat crap. Dog crap. Not yet. Well, not yet. We're gonna have this game it's done still in like a long a ways hours, from now. So. All right. Well, let's see how uh, next episode. Let's see how well Mike fares in this situation. I'm gonna do a lot better. Situation under stress. God damn here. it. Here. All right. But yeah, guys, it was fun. Thanks for uh, joining in. Please, we hope you um, have fun with us while we beat the rest of this game. We're already having a great time. So, please be safe and uh, take care. Uh, practice social distancing. Please wear your masks. Don't cough or talk on any anybody. Yeah. Don't get sick. Don't get nudged by anyone at the store who may or may have COVID and okay. then come home. All right. See you later, guys.